Amen. Amen. I want us to go through some few scriptures, then um, we will continue. Amen. Amen. We are still on the restoration of our relationships. Say relationships. Relationships. Again. Relationships. You know, restoration of relationships. The reason why I paused there for about two weeks is because no matter what happens in this life, it's about relationship. And never forget that the, in the time we keep on saying relationship, it's not relationship between you and your boyfriend or your husband and wife. Relationship. Anybody you connect to, you are relating to the person. That's right. How you connect to your boss is the relationship between you and your boss. If your child one day will go to school and the teacher will like the child, it's the relationship between the child and the, and the, and the teacher. Even the favor you need at the embassy, relationship between you and the consular officer. You get to a place, officer and person with him. Anything you are saying, what you say, go, I'll not give it to you. Negative relationship. So it's something that attacks many people. But God will come through in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the next 10 minutes, I want us to check something. And what, uh, what I'm doing right now, I'll also continue on tomorrow. It's called Traps in Relationships. Some say Traps. Traps. In relationships. In relationships. Traps. How the devil will use a human being to trap you. And at first, when it's showing up, it will look so good and so nice. Oh, I will help you. I'll, oh, 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 oh. I'll, I'll be good to you. Oh, what you are looking for, I'll make sure I do it for you. But that will be the dangerous trap. But this is the good news. God will deliver you from such kinds. Amen. You will come out of that type by the mercies of God. Amen. Say, I will come out of it. I will come out of it. Amen. So let's see First Samuel chapter 18, verse 15. We see the same thing, how God started blessing David. We saw the other side of David's life where every blessing connected to him was given to him by the mercies of God. God blessed David because of the favor that he carried. We saw it from last week. How they were looking for just somebody who can play the harp. But they gave a lot of other qualifications and he, they loved him so very much. He says, I'll not just look for somebody who can play the harp, but there is somebody here who is good looking, can speak well. The Lord is with him. He's a warrior, brave guy, so amazing. So now David has got into that service. But when he gets into that service, there's a trap there. And let's see it. And I declare that nobody here, nobody here, nobody here, nobody here, nobody here. And every declaration I'm making on you is not just for you, it's for your children and your grandchildren. Amen. That nobody here, yourself, your grandchildren. Jesus. An individual will not come to your life as a trap to come and finish your destiny. Amen. So he says, so when Saul saw, saw how successful David was, he is David, he was afraid of David. So let's see it. But all Israel and Judah loved David because he led them in their campaigns. Anytime they sent David to a campaign, there was good results, good things were going on. So Saul said to David, so now this is the trap. So now Saul doesn't like David. He wants to kill David. Mind you, by this time around, he has pinned David. He's trying to pin David to the wall with the javelin and David eluded him twice. Do you remember how uh, I, I, I spoke about it on Sunday, second service? So Saul said to David, now Saul doesn't like David. He's trying to kill David, but it's not working. Now let's see the traps in relationship. So Saul said to David, here is my older daughter, Mira. I will give her to you in marriage. Only serve me bravely and fight the battles of the Lord. Now look at the bad agenda for Saul. For Saul said to himself, I will not raise a hand against him, but the Philistines will do that. Why? Because the Philistines they didn't like Saul. So if you now go and marry Saul's daughter, your, the Philistines will end up becoming your enemy. Whoever is smiling with you today. Jesus. But behind the scenes, there's an ulterior motive. My God. Number one, may God cause the plan to scatter. Amen. Number two, may God expose it. Amen. And number three, their plans will never succeed. Amen. Give, me the, give me the NLT. Give me the NLT. 
He says, I will send him out against the Philistines and let them kill him rather than me doing it myself. Church, you need discernment. As for David, he's excited. Hey, I'm going to marry the king's daughter. The king, I'm going to marry the king's daughter. But in the mind of the king is to kill him. Who is coming around your life with something so sweet but behind the scenes is something so sad. But let the altar of the power of worship international Jesus. expose them, break that agenda. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands. Pray. Let cancel it. La pato. Zika tapaya. Le kapa tapaya. Ene tra. Ene tra. Ene tra. Let the altar. Let the altar. Somebody pray. Makatapaya. Let the altar cancel the trap. Let the altar cancel the trap. Let the altar cancel the trap. Somebody pray. Some of the issues you have gone through. If you knew those who were coming around you, by now you would have been free. But there was a plan. But today, by the message of God, we cancel that plan. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 Somebody say, hey. Hey. Say, is it true? Is it true? Say, is it possible? Is it possible? And what is the answer? Say, is it true? Is it true? Is it possible? Is it possible? Say, can that be possible? Can that be possible? Can you imagine? He says, I'm going to give my girl for the guy to marry. But my plan is not just to see them married. But my plan is to see him dead. Church, listen to me. You are supposed to, listen, the reason why I pause at relationship is because a wrong person can finish you. Listen, you can be anointed, you can be powerful, you can carry everything, but when the wrong person is around you, that is your end. That's why I'm spending my time on there. So last week we saw how it was great and David was favored and out of all of them, they chose David. So imagine now David has been promoted in the house. He's happy. Everybody likes him. But behind the scenes, the guy said, if I couldn't kill you with the javelin, so check, let me give you the revelation. He says, if I couldn't kill you with the javelin, hello, hello, hello. He says, if I couldn't kill you with the javelin, then I will use a human being to finish you. Or says, you know, or says, please try to help me, okay? didn't work. Javelin to throw at David but it didn't work. But, but now he says I will use a woman. I will use a human being. And guess what? I will use my own daughter. So let's read it again. He says one day Saul said to David. So now David is doing so well. Amazing. His life is moving forward. I am ready to give you my older daughter. Osha, you stand here when they can use your eye to direct, okay? Thank you, so that you two can listen to the word of God. Stand there, okay? Thank you. Clap your hands for the Osha. Ready to give you my older daughter as your wife. That day David will not sleep. I was a shepherd boy. I was a sheep boy. Be careful when your enemy begins to give to you. It's not every gift from your enemy. That is a good gift. Oh, I didn't ask you to clap. So if you are clapping...
I'll give my older daughter Merab as your wife. But first, oh, we have gone so far. Give me 15. Let me see something. Give me 15. Give me 16. Yes. So because he was successful and everything. So mind you, if the attacks against David was very simple, it was because David has become successful. So what has your success got to do with somebody disliking you? If I am successful, why do you want to destroy me? Who is against your success? Who is against your elevation? And let's continue. So one day David said, Saul said to David, David, so let's say this is David. One day Saul said to David, David, I am ready to give you my older daughter, Mera, as your wife. But first, you must prove yourself to be a real, a real warrior by fighting the lost battle. Now, for Saul said to himself, I will send him out against the Philistines and let them kill him rather than doing it myself. Because the Philistines don't like Saul. So the moment they know that you are the in-law, you'll be the next enemy. So which means sometimes we inherit some enemies by virtue of relationships. Oh, those who are clapping, you are spiritual. Sometimes we get some enemies by virtue of who we are connected to. Sometimes we get the enemies by virtue of the family we are coming from. So, you know, you don't have any issue. But because you, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let me put it this way. You can inherit an enemy based on the family you are married into. But today, let fire, let fire, let Jesus, fire. Jesus. Today, let fire Jesus. stop and cancel by the amazing grace of the living God. Amen. Say, I stop and cancel. I stop and cancel. Now. now. So sometimes, you can go into a family. As for you, there's no trouble around you. But because, example, there's a lady that I prophesied to one day. I called out the lady and said, the lady, the Lord said I should pray for you because I should pray for you for children. Then I said, all things are well, but where you are married from, People didn't want the man to marry because the man is the one paying the school fees for everybody. He's the one helping everybody. I said that the man has built three houses. One, one of them is for the family. One of them is for the parents. And he has also built one for himself. And they say, because you have come in, you, are, you, are, you might block them. So they, they, want, they don't want you to have a baby. The, the lady said, prophet, I've been married for four years, no baby. Now check it. She says, before I got married, every month, my menses was coming. He said, she says, um, since I got married for the past four years, my menses have stopped. And the girl is only, she was around 33 years. There's another lady to have prophesied to. She said all things were working well and everything. The moment she got married, continuous for two years, she's been bleeding throughout. So she has gotten the issue based on where she has gone to marry from. Church, who you are connected to in life plays a serious role. And because we are doing seven different restorations, we've done health, we've done long life, we've done wealth, and this is relationship, right? But I'm pausing there for two weeks just to go through. And I think when I finish with the last three, because the last three will be spirituality, all things that pertains unto us, and the last one will be uh, restoration of your peace of mind. That's your soul. That's what David said, he restores my soul. Because let me tell you, if you go through any challenging life, if, if your mind is not restored, you'll forever be a failure. Because some people think they are going to die because of what happened last time. So when they wake up in the morning, their mind is telling them you are going to die. But that one is for, for another day. And after I finish the full, whole restorations, I will now take about two weeks and do discernment. Because I can't talk about relationships without talking about discernment. Because if you get to know the discernment already before the person walks in your life, the alarm clock begins to bell. Careful, 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 careful. Two years time of a house, two years time of a house, two years time of a house. So although they are smiling at you, look at them, 
you have. And hear me, this kind of alarm I'm talking about is not just the way I said it. That you'll be dead and God will tell you, kong, kong. no, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. And any time the Holy Spirit is speaking to a person, it doesn't come like, kong, 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 kong. you feel it very small in your mind. And that's the time we avoid them. You know, something told you be careful about your mind. No, 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 no. And after it came, say, eee, me kura, me fili you. Me fili you, no, is the Holy Spirit. Oh, 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 oh. So in my last five minutes, look at it now. Tomorrow, I will, I will, I will go details into it on, so that we pray with it. For Saul said to himself, I will send him out against the Philistines and let them kill him rather than doing it myself. Now let's see David. Let's see David. Now look at David. Because he didn't know that the girl they were bringing to him was for his downfall. Look at what David said. Hey, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? What is my family in Israel that I should be the king's son-in-law? But David, you are not just going to be a son-in-law. You are going to be a dead boy. Some of you, today you are highly praising. You are happy because of a connection. But tomorrow, it is a death sentence. But any connection, that is a death sentence. Jesus. Let my God, let the altar, let the power of God stop it now. Amen. If you are into anything today, that will destroy you tomorrow. By the message of God, I declare you to come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. Listen to me. Come and tie the altar and break it now. Cut the altar and break it now. Come up and reverse it now. By fire, by fire. Now. Jesus. We reverse it. We reverse it by Amen. fire. Yes, Lord. We reverse it by fire. Amen. Now. Jesus. Today. Jesus. It's ended. Amen. Today. Jesus. We cancel it. Amen. Today. Jesus. Let God Amen. arise. Amen. Let God Jesus. arise. Amen. Let God arise. Let God arise. Church of God, I've told you, every row you go, every row is for two, two, two different, it's in and out. So please don't block anybody. Every row is in and out. Every row is in and out. Protocols, this is your job, you know. Your job is not only the new members' cards. They want their coming like that, you do that, okay. the altar let grace let grace let grace let grace let grace, let grace. show up now by fire you see the way we are struggling cancel and stop it now by authority by fire we declare we declare we declare we declare we declare Something shall fire. Oh, yeah. Child of God, hear me. So now David is saying, Who am I? He is happy. Who am I? Hey, me pa minye. But behind the scenes, it's never who am I. That's right. It's a death sentence. Jesus. I know some people are here now, and at this time around, I know what you are saying to yourself. You are saying to yourself that, Oh my God. As for me, I'm old enough, I'm mature enough, I'm able to check who comes around me. But most of you don't know what we are doing right now. Whatever we are doing right now, hear me, it's never for you alone. That's right. But I speak on your children and your grandchildren. Jesus. Oh, I, 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 can't, I can't feel you. I said your children and your grandchildren. Jesus. Listen, the young boy or the young girl that is at the psychiatric hospital right now or having the mental issue of addiction, uh, before anything at all happened at all, you have no idea. It was just one friend that was connected to them. And now for the rest of the life of that child, they are forever at the, at the addiction unit. Why? Because of a person that came. Right. So today I declare on your grandchildren. Jesus. I declare on your children. Yes, if one person is coming around them, uh, just to take them through something, Jesus. I severe the ties. I disconnect the ties. I break it up now. Let it be stopped. Let it be stopped. Let it be stopped. Let it be stopped now. Let it be stopped now by fire. Son, I stop it now. I stop it now. Now let me end it over here.
Let me end it over here. Now look at it. To be, to be the king's son-in-law. And look at what the Bible said. The Bible is able to let us know that and David exclaimed. Do you know the meaning? Hey! But his greatest joy is equal to a death sentence. So the reason why I spend my time to teach you some of these revelations is because you can't just read Bible as a storybook. It's supposed to be a reflected object in your life. The Bible is a practical book. Exclaimed, excited, oh my God! And look at it now. And my last revelation comes from this side. Then we pray. My father's family is nothing. Okay, okay, okay. What is the meaning? My father's family is nothing. Let's all work together. Let's go. My father's family is nothing. Let's go again. My father's family is nothing. Again. My father's family is nothing. Again. My father's family is nothing. For the last time. My father's family is nothing. Man of God, what is the meaning of my father's family is nothing? This is the meaning. The Lord says, sometimes, if you're not careful, poverty will let you make some wrong decisions of wrong relationship that can lead you. Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes, just because of some small days you were broke, you made some bad decision and a poor choice that destroyed your life because your family was nothing. But today I declare, poverty will not stay in your life for you to make some wrong decisions and some poor choices that will forever affect your life and torment your destiny. Be on your feet. So, I want to say, Bako. I want to say, Bako. Beating me on my way, what is over? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's revelation, right? One, I want to say, can let you marry Saul's daughter. And let's see who he saw. What God saw can do to David. I think verse 11, when he was spinning him, check for me, verse 11. 11 or 12, when he was spinning him. Quick, man, thank you. 11 or 12, when he was spinning him, and suddenly, yeah, yeah. He says, suddenly, he held a javelin. Give me the verse 10. So this is Saul. The very next day, a spirit is tormenting David. Listen to me, because, listen to me. You know, when you read Bible, and sometimes it's in the chronological order, it simply means it came before it happened. Is that okay? So check this one. The very next morning, a spirit is, is tormenting Saul. And he began to rave in his house like a madman. David was playing the harp and saw as he did each day. But Saul had a spear in his hand. Give me a spear. Give me a spear. And let me show you something right now before we just pray. And Saul had a spear. Stand there, said David. Saul had a spear. Saul had a spear. Saul had a spear in his hand. Then verse 11. Verse 11. He suddenly held it at David. Which simply means he suddenly threw it at David. But hear me, listen to me. Intending to pin David to the wall, but David escaped him twice. But so, if this person had the javelin to pierce you, why are you happy for his daughter? But the answer is something. The answer is that his family was nothing. So it is the poverty that still made him to say, who am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know you don't like me. But why am I so connected to you? It's because I am broke. Because if I was not broke, I would have come to you. But because his family was broke. So sometimes poverty will make you to do some bad decisions. <laughs> Someone so obedient, javelin, air, air, wawa. Obeyoko wa neba. But the reason, the answer is there. His family was nothing. That's why when I was teaching about wealth, I told you that poverty is wicked. Anytime you see poverty, slap poverty. When you meet poverty, curse poverty. Poverty is very evil. A man who was pinning you to the wall like a kebab. He tells you, I'm giving you my daughter. He says, yeah. No. His family was nothing. Lift up your hands. Tomorrow, I'll go to part two. Is that okay? 
and tomorrow I will show you from the same text that when he tried to give this girl to David, later they gave the girl to another guy. Then the man also gave the other daughter again to David. David, so not crazy. Okay, I don't blame him. No, Pema. Amen. Lift up your hands. Amen. Oh, you're stubborn, David. <laughs> Something must kill a man. Amen. Valentine's Day. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. And the second daughter too was called Mikal. The first daughter we're talking about right now is called Mirab. The second one is called Mikal. Mikal too, before Saul would give Mikal to David, tomorrow I'll show you. Before Saul would give Mikal to David, Saul said to David, David, before I give my second daughter to you too, I want you to go to the enemy's camp. Go and kill hundreds of the enemies and cut off their foreskin and bring it to me. Foreskin, when they are doing circumcision. Foreskin, in front of the men's stand, the foreskin. He said, go and cut hundred foreskin from guys and bring it to me. And when you bring it to me, I will give you my second daughter. And hear me. And David went. The, the, <laughs> the man said, go and kill hundred and bring me hundred foreskin. And he gave David a time that within one hour or two hours, bring them to me. Look at what happened. But David was crazy. David went. He killed 200 of them. The guy said, I want 100. David killed 200. Even before the time was given. And now they gave to David Michal. And Michal is Saul's, Saul's daughter. That when David was dancing and he was naked, he insulted David and said, look at you, you're a king. And you are dancing, you are naked. And God said, hey, woman, if the, if the king is, is dancing before me and you are laughing at him, then I will make you barren. That, that was the girl. So they, they don't lift up your hands, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. We are about to lift up three, three prayers. Say by fire. By I fire. fire. I can't feel your fire. Say by fire. By, by fire. fire. Any relationship trap. Any, any relationship, relationship trap. trap. I can't feel the energy. Say any relationship trap. Any, any relationship trap. trap. Any traps. Any, any trap. trap. In relationships. In relationship. In front of me. In front of me. Or around me now. Or around, around me now. now. That is setting me up. That is setting me up. For disaster. For disaster. I come out of it. I come out of it. Somebody shout break. Break. Hey. Shout break. Break. Shout break. Break. Shout break. break. Shout break. Sometimes, some pains you are going through now, when you can check the source of the pain, it's just one relationship. There's a sister here who is going through a serious court battle, who is going through hell now. She can call me and say, Prophet, I'm in hell. I said, Don't worry, after heavy will come. And it's because of one person. Serious court battle. That they are disgracing here everywhere. And it's just one person. One person she used to say, I love you too. And the person also used to tell her, I love you. Now the only thing I'll keep on telling the sister, don't kill yourself. Because the prophet, I want to kill myself. Because the humiliation is everywhere. Lift up your hands. You're about to pray. Church of God, some of these secrets and revelation, you don't get it anywhere. So when you teach you like this, hold it to her and pray with it. Is that okay? So that when you sit down with your children, you show them that somebody was happy, exclamation, but tomorrow it was for death. Say, I dismantle and crash. I dismantle and crash. Say, I dismantle and crash. I dismantle and crash. Any wrong relationship. Any wrong relationship. Setting me up. Setting me up. For my demise. For my demise. Break. Break. Somebody clap your hands and break. Stop it now, my fire. Stop it now.